kick it, Jackie Chan. Oh, Jamar Chase with the dive. You know, Garrett Wilson's wide open. Garrett Wilson, touchdown Barrett. Do you always want to kick it, Jackie Chan? I hope you're ready, Buffalo, because you are about to get absolutely owned by the defending world champs. That's not a good start, though. Jackson going down. Come on, Jax, get back up. Get back up, rub some dirt on it, you'll be fine. You'll be absolutely fine. It's not a big deal. Tredavious White wants to come out into the media talking trash, saying how I'm a, I'm a lightweight. Haven't I already proven it? I'm a two-time Super Bowl champion. I've already proven my worth in this league. But Tredavious White, the veteran, thinks that he's so much better than me because, oh, he's, he's dominated me in the past. That's the past. This is the now, and I am the now. There's nobody better than me. I am the now, and we're going to go for this, coach. I know you may not like it. I know you may not think it's a good idea, but I'm going to give this to Joe, and I'm going to let him get this first down. Go get it, Joe. That's what I'm talking about. I haven't even thrown a ball yet. That's how easy this game is going to be because I haven't even thrown a single pass. Now I'm going to. Now I'm going to throw a pass because I'm feeling like I'm, I'm ready. <coughs> I'm feeling like I'm ready for it. And I'm probably going to just check this down to Joe because why not? I mean, he's running the ball so many times. That's a face mask, ref. That is clearly a face mask. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I will accept those yardages, and we will move forward. Thank you very much, Coach, for doing that call to get Joe Mixon in spot to get a face mask. I appreciate it. This could be very easily a Stefan Diggs catch. Oh, it was. And you know how I know that? Because I'm good. Mm, but look at little Joshy Poo thinking that he's right here with us, scoring touchdowns to stay in the game. All right. You want to compete? You want to play ball? All right, I'll play ball with you. I don't know if you saw my first passing touchdown, but... I don't know if you want to play ball with me. There's another one to Stefan. Good catch. We're going to run this up again, and we're going to give this to Joe. Run some no huddle, catch him off guard, and let Joe run through him. He's going to run through him like some gas station sushi. Now let's get a ooh, press coverage. Where do we go? I like the deep one here. Oh, it was close, Jackson. It was close. I know you had a, a taste of it. Arguably should have brought it in. But who am I to judge? We'll throw this one to the guy that was behind you, and that's Stefan. I was looking at Kyle, looking at KP, but we ended up getting it to the man behind him, Stefan. And it worked out. And that is going to be the end of the first quarter. Okay. We're moving and grooving. We're shaking. Shake and bake. Hand this off to Joe to start the second quarter. We flip sides of the field. And Joe's going to get us a nice, solid gain. He just He's consistent. What else can I say? He's way too consistent for this Buffalo team. And this could be dangerous, but I'm going to... Ooh, you're wide open. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Easy peasy. Light work, baby. My big boy, Jahan. Mr. Reliable. 
Ooh, this could be a quick throw to Stefan here. Uh, no, wasn't there, wasn't there, wasn't there. But I'm going to step up and do this myself. Might as well, baby. Might as freaking well. Uh, 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 yeah. Hit him with it. Hit him with it. Yes, sir. Oh, what's wrong, Buffalo? You can't hang with the boys? I didn't think so. It was only a matter of time before you faltered. And there is a huge run from Joe, as you would expect. Because he is him. So now, I think I'm going to roll out here. Might as well just hit my boy Brock. I mean, he was wide open. He was just waiting for me to toss it to him. Might as well take the free yardage. Why the F not? And now we'll go... Let's see. I don't really like anything here, so we'll just have to get this away. Just get it away. Didn't like anything. Take the, take the easy option, the smart option. Don't want to make mistakes. Especially when we're trying to show up a boy, Tredavious. And that one's to KP. And KP might take this all the way. I think he just will. KP touchdown. And they thought they could hang with us. Oh, no. It looks like the gap is starting to grow. Buffalo better be careful or we're going to start to blow them out here. I mean, if Joe gets runs like that, it's ball game. It's just that simple. It is just that simple. Hand that off again. Joe's going to fall forward, get some more yards. Easy, light work. And we'll just go right back to it. Go right back to it. Let Big Joe get some more yards. They're not going to stop him. Oh, well, there we go. They actually brought somebody back to stop him. It's about time. It's about time. Now we'll throw the pass because they're not going to be expecting it. They are not going to be expecting the pass, and they're certainly not going to be expecting Jahan. That's a big-time catch, Jahan. That's what I'm talking about. Run some hurry up. Run some hurry up. Make sure they're out of sorts, out of position, and then we launch one. Jackson, second chance. Bad throw. That's a rarity. I don't usually have a lot of bad throws, but I didn't put Jackson in a good spot there. He could have had better opportunities. I'm going to throw that quickly. That's going to be Stefan. He's going to catch it, and that's probably going to take us to the two-minute warning. And indeed, it will. If we put another touchdown on the board against these boys, they are going to be donezo. So let's do that. Let's finish these boys before halftime so I can go take a nap. Let's snap this ball. Step back, fire it. It's going to be knocked. Oh, incomplete. I thought that maybe they would have got some hands on it. You want to go fourth and four? Not nah, coach, not nah, coach, not nah, coach. We're not doing that. Trust me. We're going for this. It's going to work out in our favor. Yes, sir. Of course it is because we got KP. Who else do I go to in those situations? I could go. To, I got a plenty of options. I got a plethora. But I went KP on that one, and of course it was going to work out. It's KP. And Coach wanted to take three points. Are you kidding me? Three points in this economy? And that's going to be Jahan for a touchdown. I probably could have either went him or KP. They both would have been touchdowns. But either way, it's a bucket. With 19 seconds, they choose to score and give us the football back. Now, I don't think that there's any way we can do any damage here. And I don't really even want to. I think I just want to ride this to halftime. And that's exactly what we're going to do. New half of football, which means new chances to put these Bills out of their misery. We'll go KP quickly. A little check down scenario there. And he will easily bring that in. And now we'll go verticals. Now we'll go verticals because we're going to try and gash these boys. There it is. That's a catch. Of course it is. That's KP with a big time catch. And then we'll go with, we'll go with the play action switch. See what happens here. Uh, I might just take off and run this football. I don't know if I'll get any good yardage out of it. Oh, I got a couple. I didn't really like anything I had there. Did not really like anything that I had there. We'll go back to the stick play. Stick play usually is successful, so we'll go back to it. And it'll be KP again. This time he just sits down, and it works. Third and one. I'll take those all day. Give this to Joe on third and one because we haven't ran the football with him in a little bit. There it is. Big time hole opening for him. That's a huge first down. Good job, Joe. That's a big time play from a big time player. Ooh, play action verticals. 
Stefan and press coverage. Brock Bowers, nobody over top of him. I like the looks of this play. And it could be Brock Bowers wide open because it is. Touchdown, the boys. If we put another touchdown on the board, I'm going to call it a day there. I mean, there's not much more that I got to do. I've shown up and I've showed out against Stefan or against uh, Travi, Tredavious. So, I mean, there's not much more I got to do. Not much more I freaking got to do. I'm just hoping that we can put another touchdown on the board. I think we should. There's no high safety. Uh, I got to get that away. That's going to be Jackson. Jackson breaks free. Go, Jackson. He made up for the drop or the potential drop pass he had earlier. That's a good catch. And now we'll go with good old Joe. See if he can do some damage here. Snap it, hand it off, and he's going really nowhere. But he's had a good day today. I'm not going to be mad at a two-yard gain. It's two yards we didn't have previously. So now, oh, my God, KP's wide open. KP, how could you leave him like that? Oh, he got tripped up this time. Last time he had a run like that, he went to the end zone, but he got tripped up this time. That was a good play by the defender there. And hand it off to Joe again. Joe's going nowhere once again. All right, so he might have to back off the run game for a couple plays. Don't really want them to get wind of our game plan here. I'm going to throw that right there. That's Stefan. Oh, nice juke, Stefan. Good move. You love to see it. Mind if I steal that? Let's go with a stick. Because I'm going to roll out of this pocket, and I'm going to fire it in there to Brock. It's going to be knocked incomplete. That's third down into fourth down. It's fourth and three, coach. You've trusted me before. Let's trust me one more time. Why not? This may not work, but it also may work. And if it does, it'll be epic. Oh, okay, it didn't work. It didn't work. I tried something. All right, this one's basically over. So... I'm going to snap these a few more times, and I'm probably going to get out of here. There's no reason for me to be in here, especially early in the season, for me to get hurt or have the potential to get hurt, especially when I'm having to run around like that. Oh, my God, dear Lord in heaven, you are fast. See, there's no reason for me to be out here, so we're going to run one more play, and then I'm going to be done for the day. This one's over. There's no chance that they have any time to come back, so... We're going to run this play, see what happens. Maybe we find success. Maybe. That one probably should have been picked off, arguably. But that's going to be my day done. I don't need to be hurt. <sighs> Welcome back again, everybody. How is everybody doing? I hope they're doing well. Hope you're all doing pretty good. Another big win, as expected, because we are just that good. So, can't wait to hear your questions. You know what? Fire away. I'm ready for them. First up, Juice, another fantastic performance today. Four touchdowns against a pretty stout Bills defense. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. That was a good game, wasn't it? That was a, uh, that was a really good game. That Bills defense, we all know it's pretty tough. Uh, I've gone against it plenty of times already. They're always going to give you a challenge, but today, I don't know, I just felt different. I felt really, really good, and I just couldn't really miss. I was dominating. I was I was throwing the ball in tight windows. I was getting it to amazing people, and even KP had a great touchdown catch where I threw it to him. He was wide open, and then he just took off down the sideline. He had a fantastic catch. I mean, that's the kind of stuff with this new team, with these new players that are just so good that we can be dominant whenever we want. We can flip a switch like that and just score 30 points. So that's the kind of dynamic that we were looking for, and we finally have it. So this team's scary. And even against a good team like Buffalo, we can do some pretty good damage. So it was awesome. Next question. Jeez, is it true that Tredavious White called you out and said he was going to have a field day with you? Yeah, the rumors, the rumors are true. I will say that. Tredavious White did call me out. He said uh, that I wasn't going to play well. He said I was a lightweight. He said I wasn't good. Even though I've already proved myself to everybody in this league, even I don't have anything else to prove. I'm a, I'm a former MVP. I'm a rookie of the year. I'm a two-time Super Bowl champion, two-time Super Bowl MVP. What else do I have to prove? So 
the fact that he was calling me out just made me realize that oh, he's scared. He doesn't he doesn't have anything against me. He can't do anything against me. He can't stop me. So I just told him, you know what? I don't think that you can do it. I, I basically said bet. I said you you stop me. I dare you to stop me. And he didn't do it. So you saw it on the field. He couldn't do it. So I just uh, I proved him wrong. I guess that's, that's basically all that we got to say about that. Final question. So are you and Tre'Davious White good now? Are you on better terms? I wouldn't say that we're on better terms. We're not friends, I wouldn't think. I wouldn't call myself friends with him if he wants to have that attitude and not respect me and give me the respect that I deserve, then I'm not going to give him the respect that he deserves. And he's a fantastic player, but am I going to show him that respect? No, because he's out here trashing me to the media. He's out here trashing me on social media. He's out here trashing me in my own DMs. So why do I have to respect him? So, no, I, I wouldn't say that we're on better terms, but I don't think about him. He thinks about me all the time. That's his problem. I don't, I don't know. But uh, I'm the one that won, so I guess I get the last laugh. So <laughs> we'll take that. That's going to do it for me, guys. I appreciate you all stopping by. As always, it's your job, and it's my job to come up here and give you great answers. So have a field day with what I've said, and I'll see you guys next week. Big win against Miami. See you in South Beach. Welcome back to South Beach. What an ovation for me. The fans love me. The fans absolutely love me. And you know what else they love? They love Joe Mixon running for tons and tons and tons of yards. That's exactly what he's doing. If I can float that over, Stefan touchdown? Of course it is. Of course it is. I think it might just be time to end this so-called rivalry that we have with Miami. They stand zero chance of ever beating us as long as I'm healthy and the starting quarterback of this team. You can't even catch me. Look at the speed. Look at my speed. You can't keep up with me. I run a four flat. I'm so fast. Can't keep up with me thinking they can bring me down. Who do they think they are? I'm like the Flash. If the Flash was as handsome or as talented or as fast as I am. Where do we go with this football? Probably KP. Maybe Brock underneath. But it's got a very good shot of being KP. You know what? I'll just check this down to Joe. Probably not the smartest option. Only got a yard. But hey, got to get Joe involved whenever I can. And now we can get KP involved this time, and he's going to hold on. Where's my flag, ref? That's a late hit. It's roughing the passer. Targeting. Whatever you want else in it. Helmet to helmet. Everything is involved. Uh, let's throw this. That's a risky pass, and it's going to be incomplete. Okay, I, I knew that I wasn't going to complete every single pass I threw. I'm not delusional. I'm just good. Oh, Joe, you got to pick a lane. You can't just go right down the middle. If you pick a lane, you probably get a big-time gain there. Where do we go with this? Oh, I know where to go with it. To Brock. Brock's wide open. Brock. That's an easy decision. They couldn't have made it easier for me. And we'll go right back to him. 
and he's gonna drop it. Brock, you can't drop that. I'm giving you easy peasy receptions here. You're not gonna get easier than that. Just bring it in. We'll go right there. That's Stefan. He's uh, somebody that doesn't drop footballs. It just doesn't happen. We'll go back to him. We'll go right back to him again. Bada bing, bada boom. That's number two for me and for Stefan. Oh, this one's over. This one is over. Up two scores in the first quarter on Miami. This one, I mean, just, just leave now. There's no reason for you fans to even still be here. This is the same play that KP scored on last time. He is open again. And if he stays in bounds, he's got a good chance of scoring again. Go, KP. Another touchdown. I think we just found our play. Oh, how cute. You put up three points. You think that's going to compete with the offensive onslaught that I'm bringing? This Miami team is worthless. They are no good. And these, these South Beach fans... They might only get to see me for a half. And that's just how it goes sometimes, man. If you're going to un leave KP unguarded like that, uncovered down the field, I'm going to take that every single time and twice on Thursdays. That's how easy it is. And I'll just check that down to KP again. Why not? It's free real estate. What else am I going to do? Second and one. I think I might just roll here. I haven't scrambled at all. Might as well give these fans a show. Look at the boy. Jahan's hurt, though. Jahan, rub some dirt on it, my boy. Get up. I need you, especially in the red zone. Although nowadays, I got some nastiness to throw to, but I'm going to do it myself. Get off of me. At the one. Okay. At the one. We can work with this. We can certainly, certainly work with this. You know what? Why not just give it to the homie? Give it to Joe. Let him get in there. Get in there, Joe. Good job. I might be done by halftime. Oh, this is just embarrassing, guys. I mean, at least try a little bit. You're at home. Give your fans something to cheer for. I'll give them something to cheer for as they cheer me running away from you. Okay, you were a little faster than I thought you were going to be. I'll give you your credit there. You were a little bit faster than I wanted you to be. But that's not going to stop me from throwing a touchdown probably on this play, depending on who it goes to. No, you know what? Let's just check it down. Let's just surgically dissect this Miami defense. They don't call me Surgeon Juice for nothing. I expect a nasty comeback from Jackson. There it is. Oh my god, it was disgusting, as I predicted. Jackson with a big-time catch. He has talked to me in the locker room asking to get more involved. I'll see what I can do. But I can't promise anything, especially when I got KP performing like KP usually performs. And he held on to that one because, of course, he did. He's a stud. Ball game. Another big one again, boys. I mean, done by halftime once again. First time this season, though. What can I say? It's too easy sometimes. I'm just too good. So, some days you have easy, easy weeks. And this was one of them. <laughs> no shade to Miami, though. No shade to Miami. They're a pretty good team. But we were just a better team. First question, all the way in the back. Juice... Yet another game where you were done by halftime. Do you think having this much rest will end up backfiring? Uh, no, I don't really think that it's going to backfire. I mean, I did it all last season, and you saw the results. I won a world, I won a, a Super Bowl, so I don't think it's going to backfire at all. I just allows me to get my body right, allows me to get into more physical strength and allows me to to get into a better mental state and you could say that maybe I'm going to have some rust and I'm not going to be in fighting shape when it comes to the postseason but like like I said I saw you saw what I did last postseason and I did the exact same thing in the regular season where I took games I took halves off because we were just dominating so well and I didn't want to get hurt so why would I even be concerned about getting injured or not being ready 
because I took a half off or a quarter off because we were winning by so much. Now, I'm, I'm going to protect my body. I'm going to do what's best for me. And I already did the work. I put us up by 30. I put us up by a crazy amount. We don't You don't need me in the game anymore. Yeah, teams probably want to see me out there so they can get more tape on me and, and fans want to pay their money to see me. But I'm in the business for me. I'm not in the business for, for the fans. I'm not in the business for the other teams. I'm trying to win Super Bowls for the New England Patriots, and having me fully healthy and fully mentally ready to go is the best way to do that. So if I need to take a half off after we've already dominated and gone up by 30, I'm going to do that. Coach is fine with it. Bob Kraft's fine with it. Everybody's cool with it. Are you cool with it? I guess we'll find out. Final question. Only one interception so far this year, Juice. I guess you were right when you said you were going to have an all-time season. Yeah, I guess I am going to have a, uh, a pretty all-time season. Now, some people may think that because I take halves off and I take quarters off that I'm not in the game, that I don't love the sport, and I'm not going to perform on my best every single time. But you've seen me at my best. And what does that look like? All-time great. So this season... Looks like it's going to be an all-time season. One interception through three games, I'm on track for a fantastic year, and I'm going to just keep skyrocketing into the top. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. You know what? I'm having a good time with you guys here in, in Miami. One final question. I'll go with a bonus question. I know it's early in the season still, but do you think there is any team that can hang with you guys for four quarters? Uh, no. I don't really think that there's a team in the NFL that can, can that can hang with us. No. I think that we have the talent on offense. We have amazing wide receivers, amazing running back, great offense line, and obviously me at quarterback. And then on defense, the defense is just phenomenal. So I don't really think that there's a team that has a great head coach, a great ownership, a great defense, a great offense. That there's not a team like that in the league other than us. So, no, I don't think there's any other team that can hang with us. I think we're going to smooth sail through the season, and then we're going to walk right through the playoffs, and I'll be talking to you guys at the end of the season with my third championship ring. That's just That may seem cocky. That may seem confident, overconfident, but that's how I feel. I think that we are the team, the best team in the NFL, and we prove it week in and week out. So where do, what is there to argue? There's nothing to argue. We're the best. So that's what I got to say. That's how I feel. Thanks again for stopping by. I appreciate it as always. See you guys next week.